Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know today. It's Tuesday, January 16th, 2024. Number one, for Democrats, Monday, January 15th is the day that President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris observed Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. While Republicans from across the country, working in Iowa, have focused on the final day of campaigning for candidates in the caucuses kicking off their nomination process. President Biden returned to Philadelphia Monday to volunteer with Phil Abundance and Vice President Harris traveled to Columbia, South Carolina to deliver the keynote address to the NAACP South Carolina State Conference King Day at the Dome. Monday, Republicans were campaigning in the final hours before the Iowa caucuses and declined an invitation to participate in the Brown and Black Presidential Forum, described as the nation's oldest minority-focused forum. Number two, Numerous world powers have rallied in support of South Africa, which is accusing Israel of a state-led genocide campaign against Palestinians. As we celebrate the birthday of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., a man who crusaded against the Vietnam War, many will attempt to encapsulate what he would say amidst this conflict as a champion of the poor and the oppressed. An article by Martin Kramer entitled, where MLK really stood on Israel and the Palestinians, captures Coretta Scott King and Dr. King's first encounter with Palestine and global wealth inequality. We take a look at this article in today's newsletter. Number three, from the vibrant Harlem Renaissance to tumultuous civil rights movements, this neighborhood has been a bastion for African-American culture and socio-political activism. But amidst these famed events, the story of black healthcare in Harlem unfolds, reflecting struggles, innovations, and resilience. The What You Need to Know newsletter, along with our partners at Black Health Matters, discuss the rich history of this area when it comes to prioritizing black health. Number four, an Ohio woman facing a criminal charge for her handling of a home miscarriage will not be charged that from a grand jury's decision Thursday. The Trumbull County Prosecutor's Office said grand jurors declined to return an indictment for abuse of a corpse against Brittany Watt, a 34-year-old black woman of Warren, Ohio, resolving a case that sparked national attention for its implications for a pregnant woman as states across the country hash out new laws governing reproductive health care access in the wake of Roe v. Wade being overturned. Turned. Number five, tax season electronic filing begins January 29th, and the IRS wants you to be ready. You have until April 15th to file your federal tax return or request a filing extension. If you need assistance with filing, a free service that helps you prepare your taxes is offered by the IRS. And if your income is $79,000 or less for 2023, you might qualify for the service. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels, a quote this week from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing to serve others? Mm, good question. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with comedian Damon Williams, producer Ahmed Gordon, and contributor Cameron Riley, and our special guest, my friend Brian Custer, ESPN host as well as Showtime Championship boxing anchor and prostate cancer survivor as we discuss today's top headlines and more. I'm Sybil Wilkes. Be informed. Be empowered.